I'm very grateful to be here tonight. And I'm grateful that through science, I have learned that there is a Christ available to all men and that God is no respecter of persons. I am so grateful that as we live consistently daily with the truth of God's allness, our thinking becomes more of the truth. We hear more of the comforting truth from him. And to the extent that instead of the neg negating voice that can attempt to rebut our glimpses of truth, we find ourselves hearing effective, powerful truth silencing the negative thoughts that try us. An example came to me some time ago when I started worrying about a relative, their behavior and their safety and where, where they might be. All kinds of scenarios came clouding my thinking, but right about when I was about to go down, you know, feel bad about that, I heard clearly, can I not police what is yours? This beautiful few words just touched me. It completely silenced the otherwise foolish sense of fear that would have overcome me. I am so grateful for that. What makes me even more grateful and humbly so is the extent to which Christ our shepherd tenderly cares for our every need. For everyone new, be comforted. In our textbook, page 494, Mrs. Eddy writes, Divine love always has met and always will meet every human need. It is not well to imagine that Jesus demonstrated the divine power to heal only for a select number or for a limited period of time, since to all mankind and in every hour, divine love supplies all good. It assures me, and I read it a lot because it assures me that God will always care for every need and will keep me only where he wants me to be with all I need to do my work for him. And this is true for everyone. It moves me to think of such tender care, and it fills my heart with immense gratitude. I am grateful for God, Christ Jesus, Mary Baker Eddy, and all desiring that this truth reaches mankind everywhere to comfort all. Happy to be here tonight.